This is the second largest continuous reef on the entire planet. It's crazy. Amazing. Brazil is so big that we don't even know our country well. I was out of the reef and then it's like, Toom! we just hit a reef. This could sink our boat for sure. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duke. And after two years bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life, it's finally time to start exploring. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Sunday for a new episode. There's a good forecast for the wind tomorrow and we decided to leave tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's time to move north, you know, we've been a long time here already and the wind's calling us. <laughs> so before we go, there are two things we didn't do that we are gonna do now. Right now, today is gonna be a fun day. I wait to see your golden smile Feel of a thousand kisses Oh, we stay Feels like a handful of silk now I'm in your warm embrace Oh, I hope this feeling lasts Till the oceans turn to glass And this moment forever So now I'm ready to get some food because we need to have a special dinner tonight because it's our last dinner here and we're gonna say goodbye to our friends so you know, need to be special and I guess who better have some shells for us already do you know where you left the food i hope they are still there <laughs> some of them there's actually a crab inside it's a tiny crab yes yeah, oh. so that means it's not the right uh, i was wishing this was the same shell we eat at our hometown Let's try to find other kind of food because this one is a crab. And it's a really tiny crab that's not gonna be possible to eat. Yeah, guys. guys. You're lucky that this is not the proper food for tonight. We need to go to the second location because this is part. <laughs> Check, one of our goals before we leave this anchorage was to walk on the reef. Because this is actually a really special reef. This is the second largest continuous reef on the entire planet. Longer than this one, just the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. And that's just amazing. I had no idea before we came Me here. Me neither. <laughs> and I didn't know that Alagoas, in this part of Brazil, there are so many beautiful beaches and places. And it's crazy. Amazing. Brazil is so big that we don't even know our country well. We arrived here not knowing that it would be that beautiful. And people say like, no, that's the Caribbean of Brazil. Yeah, I did. had no idea. It's awesome. We love it. Yeah, let's keep moving because we need to get some food. Otherwise, there is no dinner tonight. So we were waiting for the tide to go low as we need to collect food on the low tide. Yes, we have food tonight, it's working well. Just good like this, or sometimes you just look to the sand and it's there, <laughs> like this. Let's see if we did a good job. We did it! <laughs> Lots of food today, that's gonna be awesome. I think this is the last one. Yeah. Ooh. I said that one was the last one, but I can't stop doing this. <laughs> Workaholic as usual. Heavy food, free food. Now that we are properly clean, with fresh shower, we're gonna go to our friend's boat because we need to eat what we got, right? What we got, but it's gonna be dinner. We need to cook something for lunch, a like carbonara pasta. It's gonna be a long goodbye lunch, yeah. dinner, and I don't know what else. And everything, the bread. Yeah.
get started. First one. <laughs> Easier by hand. Moving. We love this place, we love our new friends, but sometimes you gotta go. The wind's blowing and supposedly today we have wind on the right direction. It's not strong, but it's good. Enough for us to just sail to the next destination and the next destination is gonna be so pretty. That's the tough part of leaving is saying goodbye to friends. Unfortunately, we need to go, they need to stay. And that's just the way it is but that was an awesome place we just love it this place that was just amazing and to anyone passing by this region stop here Barra de São Miguel awesome Valeu Zé You Time to go Here we go And now is the tricky part because we are not using the local guide today we are going to follow our track back hopefully everything goes okay Sunset. We are going to spend the whole night sailing to another place. <laughs> Nerve wracking. Even if you don't have a boat, it's a really nice place to come. So you can come to Maceió by plane and get a Uber or a taxi to come to here. And it's a really special place. So now I'm wearing polarized glasses, polarized, polarized glasses to try to see the sandbank and warn Duca if I see something. We need to pass so close to the beach. We are trying to follow this mark there. This is the worst part to pass by because there are the waves that come through the, the rips and the boat is so rocky. And there is the place we need to pass by. Can you see all the waves? Yeah, that's the one. I think now it's so good. The best option is to have someone to get you to go inside this bay for the first time but to go out seems to be really okay. You just need to follow your track properly and now the uh, swell is really low so it's even better than when we came in so it's just like really easy. You just need to go to the post right there and pass really close to it and that's it, you're fine. Once again we have our center board up and our draft right now is one meter but if you have more than one meter draft, you might need the pilot even to come outside of the bay. There's some sandbanks around, so it, maybe it's better. And off we go! <laughs> we made it! I was a little bit scared of the pass, but it was all good. <laughs> Luckily. Yeah, we are leaving Barra de São Miguel, unfortunately. Which is unfortunately. Center board down.
silence. The sun goes down so quickly in this area. Yeah. You don't pay attention for one second and when you see it's just like down, it's like it, it doesn't go down, it falls down. <laughs> the wind is not strong, but we are moving like, I don't know, two and a half, sometimes three knots, and that's enough because we're just gonna float this way until we get there. We have no hurry at all because it's so comfortable. It's amazing how you get used to small trips by boat. In the beginning we thought, oh, 20 miles, it's quite a lot. And nowadays it's like, Oh, it's just four miles, it's just right in the corner. <laughs> and then it's like, it's just 80 miles overnight. Oh, just one night, that's really quick. Let's go. It's really good. I mean, like, it feels so much better now that we're used to do overnight passages together, just the yeah. two of us. That makes us feel like we're free because we can go anywhere. Because if we can do one, two, three nights, we can do 10 nights. It's just, you know, just multiply, it's the same thing. It's really good and we just enjoy it. Yeah. Like two years ago, we would not say, oh, during the night, the two of us. No way, no yeah, way. We have been loving these small passages. Yep. We have like maybe 12 knots of wind right now, doing three, three and a half knots of speed. Comfortable, not moving much, not healing much, enjoying a little snack. Life's good. Indeed. I think this time is the best one because when you see the transformation in between night and day there's always something special about the sunrise it's, I love it so last night was really calm we had like 12 13 14 15 knots of wind we did like three knots four knots sometimes five knots so it's really good we didn't move that fast but we don't need to move fast because we are going not that far so it's fine we're gonna arrive probably in like, I would say, eight hours from now, seven hours from now. That's gonna be awesome. Someone just woke up. Someone slept almost the whole night today. Yeah, me. I slept like one and a half hours. Yeah. Someone slept the rest. Yeah, Hubert is feeling a little bit sick today because, I don't know, she has a cold or something. So, you know, it's fair. Let her rest a little bit. Now I think it's time for me to go to bed. I'm pretty tired. So let's wake Hubert up because she's been sleeping for hours. Someone doesn't want to wake up. Good morning. How is that time? It's pretty. After 18 hours and 68 miles, we are arriving. The <laughs> channel is right there. Are you feeling better? Um, a little bit. We are gonna enter the channel by engine because 
there is coral reef on both sides and it's easier for us to maneuver in between reefs without the sail because we have a heavy boat and it drifts too much right now the center board and the rudder they are up and that means we drift even more but it's just the way it is we don't want we never like to go inside channels with the center board down because our draft with the center board is way too deep and with the center board up it's like really tiny much better <laughs> We made it just in time for a beautiful swim on a beautiful natural swimming pool. We wish. But not. <laughs> Today is election day in Brazil and we can only vote on our hometown. And if you don't vote, you need to justify, justify that you didn't vote. Yeah. And I could justify online on the app, but Hobera app didn't work. And that means we need to go to shore to try to find a school where Hobera can justify her vote. The only good part of trying to find a place to justify my votes to get to know the town. Let's go. Before we go, I want to welcome to our Patreon family, Ryan and David and James. Thanks so much for the PayPal donation. Then let's try to find some food now. It was quicker than I thought. Good morning. Good morning. I've been awake since five in the morning because the boat is rocking a lot. And as I'm with a cold, I slept in the saloon. And the things were running around and making a lot of noises and I couldn't sleep. Yeah, everyone alert us that here it rolls a lot. And the reason <laughs> for that is because there is a coral reef right front. So when the tide goes up, the waves go higher than the coral reefs and then the, you're just like basically offshore. I think we did a mistake. I mean, sometimes you do mistakes. Here, it's really beautiful on the low tide. I don't think this week we're gonna have any really low tides. So instead of going all the way there, we're gonna send the drone. If it's good, we're gonna wait for the next low tide, that's this afternoon, and then we're gonna move the boat there. I, I don't think this week we're gonna have any good tide for that. If you're planning on coming to Maragogi, check the tide before coming. <laughs> yeah, I thought like any low tide would be enough, but need to be really low tide, seems like at least. Actually walking on the beach, we found the most beautiful place of this region with this tide. So beautiful. Time to go, my friends. Let's move. Unfortunately, unfortunately, which is unfortunately, we couldn't see the potential on this place. I'm 100% sure this is an awesome place, but we came here on a week that the tide is not going low. And with the tide not low, this rolls a lot. And also you cannot go to the, you know, natural swimming pools and see a flat swimming pool, really clear water and everything. Unfortunately, we need to move. Yeah, I knew this place was tricky, but not that much. Here in Navionics shows a few reefs, even around the mooring bowls. And it seems like I was out of the reef, and then it's like, Toom! we just hit a reef. Hobera just went downstairs and just check if the speed sensor broke. I checked here, where I have a sensor, and it's all good, we didn't hit the sensor. This could sink our boat, for sure. And right now, it's all good.
color of the ocean is just amazing. Now it's tricky, we need to follow a really restrict channel. We arrived! This is the seventh state we have been with Odd until now. Welcome to Carneiros! <laughs> Very far away I'm gonna love you When there's dishes to be done Oh, I'll scrub, scrub, scrub Just to hear you say hi I'm gonna, gonna love you With the words on my mouth With the words on my hands Don't you ever die Duke is going down to try to find the mark From the reef we hit today I found one tiny scratch This is like superficial Oh good these are the times I love having a steel bolt. <laughs> we have been working for two days inside the boat and I'm getting better and I'm still not feeling 100% well but I'm getting better so I think it's time to go out and explore this place that's the reality of having a YouTube sailing channel sometimes you're in a beautiful place but you're in the computer but now not anymore we're gonna go out for a trip for two days we had sunny days and today it's raining already yeah of course you know, <laughs> Murphy's Law just the beginning of a two kilometers wall. The rain is coming. I can see. See you later. Five minutes later and wet. <laughs> really wet. Yeah, that was a squall. I, I knew there was a squall. Now it's just getting better. But we arrived in the main. It's not getting better. It's coming yeah, back. It's coming back. <laughs> yeah, but this is the church. Quick, quick, quick. The church. The chapel. <laughs> I think we need to keep the camera on the bag until oh <laughs> hey church yeah until we get to the restaurant really quick otherwise the camera is gonna get way too wet on the restaurant we made it <laughs> not a restaurant that's like a palace almost that's all we deserve this no. is just the beginning <laughs> wait and see and the food arrived now we are talking so what do we have here lobster shrimp octopus squid long time we don't eat squid <laughs> fish pito and rice Ooh. You know, all good. 